to tell us about the newest installment of the Mystery 101 series, Dead Talk, premiering this Sunday. Please welcome back to our home, Christopher Palaha and Jill Wagner. Welcome, welcome back. back. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Were you just Hi. sleeping in the back I was bedroom? behind the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. just saying, how pretty was Jill in that poster? I know. Aww. I mean, how pretty is Jill right now? But oh, yeah, always. Like, no, but um, I have to say, like, Chris in a tux, not bad. All right. Wife's a lucky. She's right there. Yeah, Wife's she's not lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> she's He's also though, lucky. Been, yeah, I'm very lucky yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, well, we're so excited for Dead Talk. I mean, who doesn't love like a good mystery right. series, right? Yeah. So, for those of the, the viewers watching who aren't familiar with the series, catch us up on your characters. So, uh, Amy is a college professor, and so she teaches English, which I don't know why they hired me. <laughs> Have anybody's ever heard me talk? Because you ain't hardly speaking it. I'm really acting uh, in the series. So, uh, she uh, loves crime fiction. It's like she's just like this little Sherlock, and that's who she idolizes. And then this character comes into town and completely turns her world upside down, right. but also lets her live out her dream of being in the middle of these murder mysteries. And um, he's so kind as to. to that, which, which raises the biggest question of our anthology: is why does Travis just say sure? Because he's in love with her, right? <laughs> because he's girl crazy. <laughs> I mean, you're a legit <laughs> detective. Legit, yeah. He's yeah, sort and of she's a teacher. Marlo to her Sherlock Holmes, and we have this fun little relationship. Yeah, but I also that, think he knows that that. Amy is very capable and she adds to it. It's not like she just comes in and she's like, I right. want to tag along. Yeah. She's well, saying like she gives him leads right. and she tells him to look at things that maybe he wouldn't have looked at. And mm. she's also very, mm. she notices things in the room that maybe a normal put person wouldn't. I like so. to say she has the superpower of observation. So yes. she'll walk into a room right. and she'll see something that everybody else is too busy not seeing. Mm -hmm. So he knows she's got a, she, he's, she's an asset. And he's like, you know what? She's but, probably the smartest person in the room. Let's bring her with us. The smart. truth of the matter is that Amy is really solving these crimes. It's almost like Inspector Gadget. Yeah. She's the penny she's, to Inspector Gadget. She's penny. Well, I think yeah. I think Coco she Gadget. comes in. <laughs> God, I love that show. Um, I um, I think that Amy does. I think that Amy gives him the leads. But I think when it comes down to it, I mean, he is the kind of. I love the scenes where Amy comes in and she's kind of peppering with questions, and then he just bulldogs it in. He's like, "Move out of the way, everybody!" Right. You know? Because um, you need both of them really to solve the crimes. And, right. Um, the it's a, so fun it's a good combination balance. of energy. It well, is. It's in, a good balance. in this fourth installment, Dead Talk, your characters, for the first time really in the series, are taken out of their comfort zones. Yeah, they're like taken physically. Out of, they're That's physically, right, are, they're taken out of garrison into Seattle. But then I was really excited because I questioned, like, who is Amy? Who, who you know, what was her past like? So we get to see. Um, one of her ex-boyfriends, which is um, ruffles a few feathers, right? Not gonna lie. I, I think know. it does, and and oddly a enough, we get to see a little bit of jealousy, yeah. which I think is healthy in this mm -hmm. point in their mm -hmm. little bit. relationship. Yeah. <laughs> an ex-girlfriend of yours an comes ex into the picture, mine. There, but was she really an ex-girlfriend? It was. The, the, it's the waters were murky. Yeah. It was complicated. But I think we it's partners, enough we were, for Amy to get jealous. Yeah. It's enough for right. him to, especially in that one scene where you. Hugged her. You hugged her. Yeah. And I have to say, it was very, it's very much James Bond-esque. Is that fair? This one, it's very, well, he looks like James Bond. Right. I mean, he's in a tux. You're in that beautiful dress. Yes. Yeah. I, I was so, you know, it was one of my things. I was talking to the producer. I was like, can we, can there be an episode where we get to, like, really, like, a gala or something? We get to really <laughs> dress, dress up. So I like to take credit for this, but probably I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Uh, but you no, know like, what? We're, we're on it. We're on it, Wagner. Oh, no, I'm from the South, and I like to get what we call gussied up. That's right. So um, mm -hmm. they like. Go to the debutante ball. Yeah, and I think actually, it kind of, <laughs> yeah, debutante ball. Um, I actually think it kind of surprised the, the crew a little bit when we came walking out because they were just so used to us seeing, you know, where, I mean, it's not like the. Sweaters. And, it's just, yeah. you know, it's kind of normal, but then when. We walked out. It was it was a whole different kind of energy on the set. Even yeah. you know everybody was had. The crew their... was like they're actually attractive people. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, they told me why they got the job. Yeah. She's actually really pretty, and he's you know he's above average. <laughs> We always think that watching the show that you guys are very attractive people. No, but so your characters, Travis and Amy, there's some road bumps they you yeah. know hit along the way. I believe we have a clip, and it might actually be your ex girlfriend. So let's take a look. Who else knows about this? Other than Tim Bishop, um, just Travis and my dad. Yeah. Did Tim not tell you about it? Miss Winslow, I. Uh, oh, you can call me Amy. <laughs> Amy, as much as I appreciate what you've shared with me, I. 
I do hope that you can appreciate this as a police investigation. Oh, yeah, no, completely, I do. It's just that well, hold, sometimes hold a I... Now, Rachel. She's very smart. She's a professor. She's been a consultant for the Garrison PD in the past. Oh, like Sherlock? Yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't do that here. Take care. Good to see you, Burke. Well, I guess we're not in garrison anymore, Dorothy. <laughs> what? You know, it's, it's pretty obvious to me that Rachel trusts you. Maybe you should tell her she should trust me. Look at Travis. Is, Travis is like, how did, I just, on you. how did I yeah. just get in trouble? I yeah, Travis. Really cool. Good job. Yeah, but did you see the look he gave when she said, what are you, Sherlock? And he was like, mm, I, I, like know. Yeah. I, like I know. I like know. You protect yeah, her. Yeah, you're protecting Amy. I feel like people want to see you guys get together. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah for think? sure. You think? I yeah. <laughs> even asked the question. I'm like, you know, we have to come up with our own backstories as to why they don't, and we both have our own backstories. Um, but I think at some point the audience is going to have to know why they don't because yeah. they're so perfect no. for one another. You know, well, we had some ideas. Didn't we say I like know. you could date somebody else and you could date somebody Both else? Both of you. Jealousy. Right. I think that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. and I think we so, keep this going for a few more movies. Yeah. You have a girlfriend come in, suddenly she's all, mm, interesting, and she right. gets a boyfriend, not because she really lo wants a boyfriend, right, but because she wants you to be mad, upset. Right. You're a new writer. You, I, I'll start to say, <laughs> you want to come in? That's right. I'm going to, you know, I know you're cooking for us a little bit later. You could do craft services, wear another hat. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. do, I'm going to do some writing for the show. We're all going to have a couple different uh, right. jobs over there. And yeah. if your characters do end up getting together, this won't be the first time on screen that you guys have gone together because you played romantic love interest Double in times. a past movie. Um, for what, 15 years ago? At this point, yeah. All right, 15, 15 or 16 years ago, years ago we, um, I had my first job kiss. Ever. Um, a first job ever, but first on-screen kiss with this Whoa. man right here. And I was so nervous. It was the most nerve-wracking no thing I've ever way. had to go through. Um, and then we got to work together again in Fiji. The first one was in Hawaii. The next one was in Fiji. Fiji like, yeah. we only work in tropical places. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> yeah. places. Um, sunny, sunny BC. And then now Mystery 101. So it's like, it's really great, and I'm so happy. Thank you, Hallmark, for giving me such a great leading yeah. man. Because it means the world. And you, you can't... Can, when people say they love our chemistry, it's not something we work on. It's no. not something we even know how to work on. I think either you're friends and you, you kind of just have that we just have that energy, you know, mm -hmm. or either you don't. Right. So I'm just well, it's safe. You trust each other. You have fun with each other. Yeah. It's true. You, yeah. You know how to play off. Of and it, and good. I'm glad that Hallmark kind of saw that in the in Pearl and Paradise, mm -hmm. and you know they were they were smart. You guys are smart. smart. You match. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious you've been friends yeah. for twenty some odd years. Yeah. 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 But we just didn't talk yeah. to each other. <laughs> I watch her on white. Like friends do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Wagner. I. Anyway, I know Wagner. <laughs> but if you can pick it up right back up, then you know it's real friendship. Exactly. I feel like if you can't talk to somebody in a while and you get together I and you're like, yeah. it seems like you exactly. never even yeah, exactly. stopped talking. Exactly. Totally. Thank exactly. you guys so much. I so love fun you. having you guys. Love you. Congratulations on everything. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, you don't want to miss Jill and Christopher in Mystery 101: Dead Talk this Sunday night at 9:8 Central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.